What are you filming for? Uh, NBC News? <laughs> no. On my way back, I'll pop in. <laughs> Don't forget, at Morsh's Pork Store, it's a pleasure to meet you! <laughs> hey, it's Robert. Out here in Ridgewood, my own backyard. Across the street from uh, San Matthias Church, iconic Ridgewood institution. You may have seen it in such movies as The Irishman. I got my snacking sausage from Morshers. I'm gonna chew the sausage before I do this part. This whole area is kind of um, going crazy. You had um, these three shops kind of in a row. Uh, it's a cafe. Then there's an amazing natural wine shop named Four A Wines and Sundown Bar. Across the street from that, you have Norma's. Everybody's always eating at Norma's. You got porcelain here. Down the block now, you have Miller's and Makers, which is like incredibly good pastries um, and like donuts and focaccia. Miller's and Makers is insane. It's cracked. Um, you got Topo's Bookstore right there. A lot of great small businesses in Ridgewood. Morsh's goes back a long time. You got Rudy's down the block goes back a long time. So Ridgewood is, I don't know. I love living here. It's just a great combination of the old and the new. Today on Eating with Robert, we're going to a place that I think most people would walk by. It's called Burrex Pizza. I think some people see Burrex Pizza and they think that it's a pizza place owned by a guy named Burek. But it's actually a place that sells Burek, which is this Albanian pizza-like pie. It's filo dough and cheese or filo dough and meat. And the only other thing that they sell there is yogurt. Today we're gonna to get our burrek on. Come with me on another eating adventure. What a day, what an intro. Let's go. Pizza. They asked me not to film inside, which is totally reasonable during the pandemic. And what we got here is we got the meat burek, the cheese burek, and then we got this. Um, this is straight up a drinkable yogurt. That's yogurt. <laughs> and they said this is a drink. Some people put it on the the burek. But it's a drink. So like when cafes and things pop up, it's cool. But I think it kind of guides newcomers to the neighborhood, gentrifiers if you want, you know, away from the local businesses. The more you go into these places that have been here, the happier you're gonna be and the better you're gonna support the neighborhood you live in. Oh, you look but, great. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. And a nice tasty beverage to wash it down. yogurt it's yogurt this is so good it's a fucking explosion i cursed my sister asked me to stop cursing it's a gosh darn explosion of flavor let me tell you folks it's a hooting good time a hollering good time no it's a fucking masterpiece okay you know what really this tastes like though is it tastes kind of like um i hate to say this but like what if a white castle crave case was a good albanian pizza <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to explain it because it's oniony and it's like super full of meat. But obviously, it's so much better than that. The filo dough is crispy. They make everything homemade here. You got tons of black pepper, which is just like, mmm. It's like you have an onion burger at a very, very good barbecue. It's not like White Castle. It's a good time to mention that my stomach doesn't do good with cheese and dairy. All right, let's move on to the cheese. Oh, that's the guy that I told to come eat here. He's back. Yeah, I did. I just got the um, the spinach and cheese and the ground beef. Nice. <laughs> Take care. Take care, man. Plus one sale. Do I have yogurt in my mustache? <laughs> mm. 
Maybe this is a game. Eaton's not a game. I'm gonna hyped up on this shit. What can be said about this brick? Well, it's flaky like you can see. Uh, like. The cheese is really good in here. I don't know how I would describe it. It's like the texture of a feta cheese, but not so acidic. More like a mozzarella you think type going on. The outside is so crusty, it's like a croissant, essentially. If I see you in Ridgewood and you walk past Burrex Pizza and you don't stop and you don't get a Burrex, I'm trying to be positive. Let me think about it. If you were in Ridgewood and you walk by Burrex Pizza and you do not stop and get a Burrex, you are dead to me. Don't hop in my DMs. Don't recommend me new restaurants. It's over. It's Burrex or nothing. Oh, really good. So let's recap. I went to some of my favorite places in Ridgewood. Shouts out to Herbert Morsher for being a heck of a mensch. Welcome. What do you want me to say again? I, I, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, off the, off the wall. Uh, then we went over to Burrex Pizza. They didn't want us to film inside. That's okay. I still love you. I had two Burrex. I had a meat Burrex. I had a cheese Burrex. The meat burrek tasted like, um, I don't know, basically tasted like steamed hamburger with onions inside of a filo dough pastry, which doesn't sound good, but it's super good. And then we had a cheese burrek, which I cannot imagine anybody not enjoying, uh, unless you're vegan. And if you are vegan, that's okay with me. I love you. This has been Eating with Robert. My name's Rob. Thanks to everybody for your nice comments and your lovely DMs. It gives me a lot of confidence to come out here in the world and eat food in front of strangers on camera. And, uh, See you next time. Bye. The only thing we don't make here is cheese, bread, and babies. <laughs> That's an old butcher joke. <laughs>